June 19, 2013. Afghanistan. A rocket attack kills four U.S. Army soldiers. The Taliban claims responsibility. The response is fast and furious. U.S. commanders mount an aggressive air campaign. U.S. fighters fly around the clock, watching over troops on the ground. Keeping the fighters on constant patrol is crucial. But their endurance is just four hours, or even less. The solution? Air-to-air -air refueling. For that, they rely on the KC-135. Behind me here is the KC-135, uh, known officially as the Strato tanker. But for those that have operated it or maintained it, pretty much just the tanker. The KC-135 has a 130 feet wingspan. It's 136 feet long and almost four stories tall. It can carry up to 200,000 pounds of fuel. The Stratotanker's specialty, pumping gas. There are tanks in its forward fuselage, center, back fuselage, and upper deck. There are three more in each wing. This flying gas tank is designed for one crucial thing, Aerial refueling. Aerial refueling is the process of taking two aircraft and getting them into the same spot in the sky at about the same time and joining together and then passing that fuel from the tanker to the receiver. Five lots contact. 